Hey guys, it's Earl and Brian here. Today we're going to talk about some of the differences with LS engines and drive-by-wire setups. So right now we're not offering a Gen 3, which would be a standard LS1 drive-by-wire. That one's only available cable, which means you have to use the 411 PCM or a P59 PCM for that setup. But what we do offer is for Gen 4 guys, which would be a 2007 and up, uh, 58x style engine if you want to run a cable drive we do have an option here on the website so we're gonna go ahead and click gen 4 with cable throttle body now this is gonna use that 411 or p59 which I just talked about there so you're gonna use an older style ECU so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna run you through some of the selections here so in this case, since you're going to be using a 58X engine with a 24X ECU, you're going to have to go ahead and select that you want to purchase the Lingenfelter box, which is going to configure the cam and crank signals so that they'll work properly with the 24X ECU. Now in that case, it'll just plug into our harness and then part of the wiring from the Lingenfelter box will go directly out to the sensors on the engine. That's going to allow you to run that newer engine with an older style PCM and not have any problems. A lot of the other stuff are standard selections. Um, I would recommend running the two wire knock sensors on it, which would be the normal sensor that would come on the Gen 4. You're also going to go ahead and select your type of map sensor. Most of them that I see will be this Bosch style sensor, unless it's a truck motor that's right around 2007, 2008, then it could be the Delphi sensor. So you'll have to select a couple things, but hopefully this will give you an idea of how you can run your Gen 4 on a cable throttle body.